हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्ट्रिंग्स अ स्ट्रिंग इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ वन और मोर देन वन कैरेक्टर्स टर्मिनेटेड बाय अ नल कैरेक्टर नल इज रिप्रेजेंटेड विद बैक्शलेस शीरो एंड दिस बैक्शलेस शीरो मस्ट बी एनक्लोज इन सिंगल कोड्स बिकॉज दिस बैक्शलेस जीरो इज नोन एज अ कैरेक्टर आज की वैल्यू ऑफ दिस नल कैरेक्टर इज जीरो string constants are enclosed in double quotes whereas uh, all character constants are enclosed in single quotes a uh, string can contain a combination of alphabets digits and special symbols because all these entities are known as characters now declaration of string for string we can only use character data type followed by string name and in square bracket we can mention size of the string here is an example in this example we are using char as a data type str as a name of string and 10 is total size of this string now we have to note if size of string is 10 then it can only contain 9 characters because null also occupy 1 byte memory allocation of string so for this declaration character str 10 this is a memory allocation which contains total 10 blocks and 0 1 2 3 4 these all are indexes as we all know indexes of array starts from 0 and ends with total number of size minus 1 so we can also note that each character occupies 1 byte of memory so above string occupies 10 bytes of memory next one is initialization so initialization means assignment of values at the time of declaration so first statement is s1 of 5 so size is 5 and we are assigning four five individual characters so you can relate this declaration with this statement here s1 is array of character because null is missing so first statement doesn't contain null character so we cannot treat it as a string second statement is s2 size is 5 but in this statement we are uh, assigning four characters along with null character so this statement can be related to uh, this uh, statement s2 is string because it contains null at the end now the third statement which is s3 of 5 here we are assigning a b c d and this a b c d is enclosed in double quotes here we have not mentioned backslash zero remember if we are assigning uh, strings in double quotes then double quotes automatically assigns null character at the end of string so we can relate this declaration with last statement which says s3 is using double quotes and here null is inserted automatically so it is also a string so first statement which is s1 is array of character and second or third statements which are s2 or s3 is known as string now reading of string for this purpose we can use first statement scanf along with percent s and then name of string so here is uh, its explanation this statement reads sequence of characters from console until user presses space or enter key this statement automatically inserts null character at the end of string second statement is get us get us only contains name of string uh, so get us is particularly for string uh, whereas scanf can read integer character float and uh, string values so the explanation of get us is uh, this statement reads sequence of characters from console until user presses enter key this statement automatically inserts null character at the end of string so if we compare both the statements scanf cannot read blank spaces it means 
we can read only one word with the help of scanf whereas getters can read space successfully so we can read multiple words including spaces using getters statement now printing of string there are total 3 methods of printing first is printf along with percent s and str the statement will print the string until null character then next function is putis this is particularly for string this statement also prints string till null character then there is a loop which is starting from zero condition is str of i not equals to null it means if index of uh, any string is not equals to null then only a particular character is printed otherwise this loop will get terminated so we can use any of the method to print a particular string on console let's understand uh, how can we use strings in a program so first program is to find out length of a string so here is a statement char str of 10 this is the string declaration now using this printf for get s we are reading a string from the user for counting purpose we have used this loop the condition of loop is str of i not equals to null it means this loop will repeat uh, until it reaches null character and uh, whenever we repeats this loop this count variable will increase its value by 1 after termination of this loop the printf statement will print length of the string with the help of count variable another program which says copy a string into another so for this purpose we are using two strings s1 and s2 so first we have to read s1 string from the user and using this for loop we are assigning value of s1 into s2 but you have to uh, notice that after completion of uh, this loop we are explicitly assigning null character into s2 because uh, this loop will not assign null character because when it reaches on null character the loop automatically gets terminated after assignment of null character using put a statement we are displaying value of s1 as well as value of s2 next program it says count how many vowels are available in a string so to read a string we are using printf and scanf and for counting purpose we are using a loop which will repeat till null character in uh, this loop uh, we are using a if statement uh, which has five conditions because we know there are total five uh, vowels first it checks str of i with a then e then i then o and then u and we are using logical or operator between all these five conditions because we all know logical or operator will execute if at least one condition is true so if any of these uh, condition will be true then value of vowel will be incremented by 1 after completion of this loop the printf statement with, uh, will print the value of vowels with the help of vowel variable next program is to count upper case lower case digits and special symbols in a string so in this program this uh, printf for get is uh, is reading a string from the user with the help of this loop we are uh, counting number of upper case lower case digits and special symbol so to count number of upper case letters we are using this condition which says str of i greater than equals to 65 and str of i less than equals to 90 here 65 is ascii code of capital a and 90 is ascii code of capital z so if any character lies between this range then the variable upr plus plus increments its value by 1 this is the range of lower case it means 97 is the ascii code of small a and 122 is the ascii code of small z 
then third condi condition is 48 and 57 48 48 is ascii code of 0 and 57 is ascii code of uh, 9 and if uh, all these conditions are false then at last uh, the spatial symbol uh, variable will gets automatically in incremented by value 1 after completion of this loop this printf statement will print the value of uppercase lowercase digit and spatial symbol on the console next program count occurrence of a particular character in a string this is very simple in this program we have to read two kind of values from the user first one is string and second one is the character which we want to count in a string so we are using a for loop for this purpose inside for loop there is a condition which checks value of str with value of c if both matches then value of uh, count will be increased by 1 after completion of this loop the count variable is printed with the help of printf statement on console there are some predefined functions of strings are also available so first function is strlen which find out number of characters available in a string second function is strcpy it copies contents of a string into another so in this statement it will copy value of s1 into s2 third function is strcat it means concatenation of of strings here values of s2 is concatenated inside values of s1 it means s1 contains values of uh, s1 itself as well as values of s2 fourth function is str uh, cmp it means it compares values of two strings first is s1 and second one is s2 if comparison uh, provides the result zero then it prints strings are equal otherwise unequal and last one is str rev this function reverses value of a string it means a putis function will print reverse of a string now it's your turn you have to practice all these programs so that you can easily understand the working of string so first program is to read a string and convert uppercase letter into lowercase and lowercase letters into uppercase you can use ascii codes uh, uh, of a particular character to uh, perform this operation second is read a string and count total number of characters and words third is read a string and check whether a particular character is available in it or not and last is print ascii values of each character of your name thank you